Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about um, order of operations in Max, which is one of the things that people tend to get most confused about early on. And it, it can be confusing, but we'll see later on how there are a lot of objects that will take care of this issue for us. But basically, <laughs> let's see, zoom in here and turn on this grid. Uh, let's say I have a bang, which I grab from here and I'll make it extra big and uh, I have a bang coming out of this outlet and I'll copy paste this and I'll hook it up here but then I'll also have it hooked up over here and I'll have it hooked up over here and we'll get one more in there and I'll select all of these and I'll just make them a tiny bit smaller there we go uh, and if I lock the patch and I hit this you can see that the bang happens at all four of these the question is what order does it happen to them in? Uh, and like in this case, it doesn't really seem to matter, but there are going to be cases in some patches where it really does matter that this happens before this and this happens before this. So we need to have a good understanding of what the order is and how we can make sure that we're getting the order of operations that we want. Um, so just looking at this right now, one way we could figure out what order things are happening in is I'll make a message and I'll label this one one and I'll hook it up to this and I'll copy paste that Oops. and I'll label this one two and this message will be three and this will be four and then I'll make an object called print um, I could make a bunch of them but I'll just hook them all up to the same one there's really no difference than if I had just made four print objects. And now if I lock the patch and I'll open the Max Console window over here and clear that, and I click Bang, and we can see that it goes one, two, three, four. So it actually, right away we learned that it tends to go, or not tend, it always does. Uh, anything that's to the right will go first, and then anything over to the left will go uh, not second, third, fourth. So what I'm trying to say is um, it always starts right to left. So this is the farthest one on the right, and then this one, then this one, then this one. Um, and we can see if this checks out if I just order this a little bit. And if I lock the patch again, same thing, one, two, three, four. Uh, and I can also make sure these are lined up just so we're not getting confused. These are all on the same plane. Uh, but if I take this one and I move it over to this side, now it's going to be two, three, four, one. You see that? I'm just So right to left is kind of the order of operations. Um, although if I move these up and down a little bit, the order stays the same. And this isn't, uh, the up and down or bottom and top do matter. It's the right to left is always going to take precedence. Although if they're on the same plane, if I start putting this here and this here, I know that this is becoming kind of a soup of cables, so it's a little hard to tell, but uh, it's this uh, one, this three, this two, this four. Let me move it out a little bit more so you can see. And I lock that, and I'll just clear the message here. Now we can see it's one, two, one, three, two, four. So one, three, two, four. Uh, so actually, and well as right to left, it's bottom to top. But all things considered, right to left will take precedence over bottom to top. So this is kind of the thing to look for first. But if they're on the same plane right to left, then it'll defer to bottom to top. Um, so yeah, it, there's a couple of other things too, like uh, not only is that the case, but if I select this and reset here for a second. If you hold down option and drag, 
uh, you can select patch cords like that, so I can just set them up like that. Uh -huh. And not only do we have this whole right to left, bottom to top thing, we also have uh, the fact that it's going to finish everything in the flow before it moves to the next thing. And what do I mean by that? What I mean is I'll make another one so this is a little cleaner. What I mean is we know that based on this right to left thing that this is going to happen before this. But then the question is, is this going to happen, this too, going to happen before this? And the answer is yes, because everything that comes out of here and goes into here, what's important to know is it's going to finish everything in this chain or this flow or this signal, however you want to think of it. It's going to go down through it and bang, 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 bang. And then only once that whole chain is complete, then it'll go to the next chain and it'll go bang, 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 and it'll just work its way down through. Uh, and if it were to split off somewhere else in here, then the same thing. It would go right down that way, and then it would go to the left, and then it would come back up here. Um, so you can see I actually have these upside down, so it's probably going to go 2, 1, 4, 3. Um, no, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, sorry, yeah, that's right. Uh, because it's actually following the information. I go down, 1, down, 2. So it all, in terms of like following the flow, that's always the most important thing. Um, and I can explain that a little better here. Uh, if I, let's just start from scratch here. If I, sorry, grab another bang and then another message. One. And then I put this all the way over here. And then I put this over here. And this over here. And then this over here. And I'm going to make another print object. And this is an absolute just rat's nest of like cables and whatnot. But what's important to realize about this is we know that it's going to come out one, two, three, four, five. Because even though we have this right to left, bottom to top thing, all of these cables are connected. So it's literally going to go down, trigger one, and then up to two, trigger two, and then the three, trigger three, and then the four, trigger four, five, five. You get it. So now if I lock the patch. You can see one, two, three, four, five. So the flow always takes precedence in terms of like following that line and whatnot. Um, so let's see, is there anything else I needed to cover here? Uh, one thing I, one of the things that maybe I don't need to get into is too much, actually I'll just keep that up here. You can kind of circumvent all of this, uh, the whole right to left, bottom to top thing with an object called uh, trigger. And it's one of my favorite objects in Max. And it's a little like hard to tell exactly what it is. Um, but if I make a trigger, I can make a bang, a bang, a bang, a bang. And basically trigger is any time it receives any message essentially in here, you can have it trigger all these other messages or it can receive a bang in here. Um, and it's always going to hard code the order of operations of how it outputs things. So we can go back to here and and you can see if I hover over this, it probably says output order two, bang, output order three, bang. Um, so I'll copy paste that. And I'll do the messages again. Mm. 
And what's happening is when I send a bang to the trigger object, it's going to trigger all these other bangs, each coming out of its own outlet. So this, this bang corresponds with this outlet, this bang corresponds with this outlet, this bang, etc. If I added another bang here, then there would be a fifth one. Um, and it's going to go right to left, and you can see that. It says output order one, bang, output order two, bang, output order three, bang, output order four, bang. And what's so this so this behaves exactly like we expect it to, right to left, one, two, three, four. But if I take this and I move it over here, because it's following this object, and this is always the first thing that comes out of it, we're still gonna keep the one, two, three, four, even though this one has moved over all the way to the uh, left. So this way. What we've done is we've hard-coded um, the right to left kind of issue. We've hard-coded the order of operations. So now I don't, if I like, you know, if I'm working on a patch and I'm like, oh shit, I need to move this over here and uh, this needs to be over here actually. Now I don't have to worry about the order of operations getting changed up because this is dictating exactly what that order of operations is going to be. Um, this is just one of those things that like you're just going to have to get used to with Max and think about. It can be a little difficult and a little confusing at first, but this is essentially what's happening underneath the hood when you're making a patch in terms of like how it operates and what the order of operations are. So um, if, it's, if it's throwing you off for the moment, don't worry too much about it. Uh, just know that there will be a point where it's something that you got to just be conscious of. So yeah.